to target rich people. I just started my hands back e-commerce in France, where I sell bags from emerging designers with a high price point up to 1050 euros. So basically 1000 US dollars, a little bit more, but I'm struggling with sales. I've been offered business opportunities, features in national magazines, hand stores through my ads, but no sales. How can I target rich people on Facebook ads? I might be doing something wrong with my ads because I got clicks, but not sales at all. I haven't set up the location, interests and behaviors, but still can manage to close a sale. Please need help. This is a very common question uh, that a lot of people have. This is like a very beginner question, how to target rich people. And another guy, it's not me, another guy provided the best answer ever. So this video will be extremely valuable. The answer to the question in your title, I can't just target rich people. The skill as a marketer is identifying what sets apart rich people. What do they do differently from non-rich people? How do you identify one from the other through behaviors? For example, someone that is wealthy might have a higher than average interest in investing. They might be more likely to own a home. They might on average spend more time in certain locations like Monaco. That said, you're approaching this wrong. On many different levels, there isn't just a knock against you, but you see it in this group all the time. For one, you clearly don't seem to know your target audience, which leads me to believe you have might not had many sales to begin with. Even outside of digital advertising, the price point you give for your product puts it well below basically any brand that is considered expensive. Gucci, YSL, etc. are all significantly more expensive and brands like Hermes and Chanel aren't even in the same ballpark. Generally, rich people also don't buy bags like normal people. They often get offered to buy a bag, well, before normal people even hear about the model. They have a relationship with, with a brand. This is why limited edition products are always already sold out when they come out. And then we go into the whole why do people buy these bags for tens of thousands of dollars? A big one is one of the most people have never liked to talk about, but it's called branding. Yeah, people on Reddit don't want to talk about branding. People don't just want to buy a pretty bag. They want the brand. I'm not sure what is this brand. LVMH isn't the brand. They're because they know how to target rich people with digital ads or because they make products with several levels about the product from other brands. It's because they have carefully crafted a brand image that people identified. People don't wear a Rolex Daytona because it's better than the Zenith Chronomaster. It's because they want to be someone that wears a Rolex. They want to know that they are someone that wears a Rolex. So basically, what is this guy saying? People buy Rolex because of the status that is associated with Rolex. Rolex invested a lot into their branding so they could position themselves as a piece that brings status. And how does Rolex target people? Think about it. Rolex advertises on a, I think on like tennis tournaments, I think Wimbledon or something. So this is how they advertise. Rolex won't be buying ads on like anything that's considered to be a sport play by the mainstream. So I'm not sure, but Rolex won't advertise on a soccer game. They won't advertise on a basketball game. They're going to advertise on a, on tennis, right? Tennis tournaments. And this is how Rolex actually targets rich people. In terms of like, what is branding and how do you build a brand? This is a process that takes like a long, long time. Selling something, pricing something at 1000 and trying to sell it to people just because for you it's expensive doesn't mean uh, it's going to work. So basically, this is, and this guy continues. That's why companies throw stupid amounts of money at celebrities and athletes. It's why Louis Vuitton allegedly sent Snooki from Jersey Shore free Gucci bags. And another big one to keep in mind is that rich people often have stylists. 
so you're not actually trying one thing i don't agree with this guy i don't think like rich people are buying those brands for example gucci prada or whatever whatever i don't think rich people are buying if you're talking like about wealthy people people who invest like billions of dollars in like stocks those are not the average shoppers people who buy these brands are maybe like middle class middle class people or maybe above middle class people people who work as like lawyers doctors those people will be spending the money but if somebody is like old school wealth like old money right they won't be buying like prada or or, or hermes or whatever they'll be driving hondas and toyotas so this guy i think this is wrong about it yes people do try to buy the status yes people do want to appear more let's say influential or, or whatever however the majority of the people who buy those brands are not rich those people are pretending to be rich you know and this and, and there is a shift for example like i know i live in bulgaria and in bulgaria it's considered very modern if you drive like a bmw i'm not sure why bmw but a lot of people drive bmws and like 90 percent of the people who buy bmws cannot afford them they're living paycheck to paycheck people who buy those brands most of them will be living paycheck to paycheck so i think the problem is not also like targeting in the rich people but it's also how you position your product because through positioning you establish the branding if you have bad positioning people just won't people won't like it so first of all is your product something that could be appealing to people how do you position it and then think about targeting rich people and i think the way you wrote it rich people i think like you think like rich people are those people that are like way out of this league like that are impossible to target but they're on facebook right a lot of people will be will buy one thousand dollar like watch or whatever so it's not it's not even that expensive right for a lot of people it's not even that expensive there are wealthy countries in like europe wealthy countries in the united states in Can uh, canada where people just have money for example a lawyer who makes four hundred thousand dollars per year could easily afford a one thousand dollar watch so it's not a problem this is something that you also need to consider have you noticed how fashionable mark zuckerberg has become lately for example that isn't because he all of a sudden developed an interest or taste for clothing. It's because one of Meta's private investors said that would be beneficial to the brand if Mark Zuckerberg changed his looks. Makes sense. Makes a lot of sense. Now, now if we open Mark Zuckerberg on, on Facebook, we're going to see that Mark Zuckerberg is like flexing. He has the, he's flexing with the Porsches, right? he's buying fancy cars he's wearing like watches and like chains he he's doing like mma and like going with alex Pereira and like i'm i'm not sure what's what's his shirt but it's like a brand or something so as you can see he's opening a necklace a present from t-pain so mark zuckerberg is playing it cool and a lot of people think and and this is just like the mess this is how people are programmed if you wear let's say designer clothes if you wear like nice necklaces you'll be considered good cool yeah or otherwise there is a reason why tyler swift is known for for collection of affordable handbags not because she cares about the value of them but because it makes her seem approachable and normal to her to her fans it's all marketing so you need to go back to the drawing board and figure out what your strategy is because just targeting rich people isn't for you and i'm gonna say this to you even if you target rich people if they don't like the product if they don't like how you present it how you position it they they still won't buy it right they would they still won't buy it if your whole angle is emerging designers you're going to want to target people that are interested in what want to be seen carrying and wearing products from emerging designer and you're going to have to figure out what drives that interest you can already 
I can already tell that it won't be because the value of your product is good or because they're well made. Yeah, there is a guy on Instagram and he's just like ripping apart designer bags. He's ripping apart t-shirts and he shares in his opinion how much it costs uh, for, the, for those companies to produce them. And in many cases, if you spend like 1000 or like 8K on a Louis Vuitton bag, the materials for them to produce the bag would be like a hundred, a hundred dollars. So the rest is like what you call branding. Of course, if you add the the marketing team and like the whole operation company and how much it costs to run a company, it might be slightly more expensive than a hundred dollars. But overall, you're paying, overpaying for something a lot by a lot just because it has a logo. And this is branding. And this guy mentions branding. I think branding is like great. Branding isn't created in like one day. For you to create a brand is going to take years and years and years. Rolex became the way they are because they invested in tennis tournaments. They, they invested in golf tournaments. They, I don't know, they had like famous influential people where, where they, they watch, I think. US presidents, they, they wear the Rolex presidential or something. I'm not sure about that. But this is something that happens with years, years, years. If you just do like drop shipping, you won't be able to build like the product and position it the way you, you want. Right? If you're trying to target the rich, that means you're very, very thirsty. And this was the video for today.